local coverage you can count on continues with Tara Brantley and Dirk Rowley. You're watching Wayne 15 News at 6. Like today's can give you a nice head start on your holiday decorating. And the family you're about to meet is inspiration. They have been hard at work preparing their light display to benefit a good cause. Wayne 15's Joe Struess has their story. I can't tell you how many nights that we would be out, maybe until one o'clock in the morning on ladders, you know, trying to get everything ready to turn on on that, you know, Thanksgiving evening. And it was like, 20 and super chilly and so you know especially going into this weekend we are we are more than welcoming you know the 70 plus degree weather. Missy Gerardo and her husband Chris are known for their annual Christmas Creations holiday light display that they create at their house located at 13 525 Plumbago Court. They say that this has been a tough year for many people so they decided to start lighting up the neighborhood earlier this year with an all new Halloween display. When I had small children walk up whoa, look at the lights. How did you do that with these lights? You know, this is awesome. That just, it, it just meant the world to us. So why not start early? Now that Halloween has passed, the Gerardos are taking advantage of the unusually nice weather for this weekend to transform their display into its normal Christmas setting. The Gerardos don't just plug in their lights. They use a program to sync their lights to music for a custom 45 minute show. The display is not just for entertainment, it's also for a good cause. Last year the display raised over 400 pounds of food for the Community Harvest Food Bank. Our hope and our goal is to be able to continue to be givers and to do, where we, you know, do what we can to be a light in our community you know, where we can. And if that means that we do Christmas lights to help someone put food on the table for their family, then our job and our hearts are very, very full. While the lights were set up earlier this year, they will not be turned on for public viewing until Thanksgiving night. Nonetheless, Gerardo says that her family will continue to create the display in the future with the mission of helping others. I just want it to be an opportunity to be a teaching lesson to keep our children humble and to understand the power of giving uh, you know, for our friends and neighbors. So. In Fort Wayne, Joe Struess, Wayne 15 News.